The Reclamations are the true tribunal. The Daedra that consecrate the Dunmer people. Azura, Methala, and Boethia. We call them the true tribunal because they have reclaimed their place in our hearts from the false tribunal that came before. The light can finally shine upon the House of Reclamations. Hello and welcome back to Fodge Muppet. My name is Michael and this is not only the latest build on the channel, but also the build that represents our beloved Let's Play character Malara Sarethi. Obviously a Dunma, the warrior of the Reclamations was raised in the southern regions of Morrowind, her father being a priest of the temple. She grew up worshipping the Reclamations, learning basic conjuration and destruction magic, and at age 20, Argonian skirmishes nearby the Black Marsh border attacked, killing her father and sending Malara fleeing and demoralised. Malara is a refugee and the next part of the story is split into two options. If you have the alternate starts mod, you can select to be shipwrecked off the coast of Skyrim, as Malara boarded and hid on a pirate ship heading in that direction to escape. If you have vanilla Skyrim, Malara escaped through the Jural Mountains and kept travelling west until she was captured closer to Helgen. After either escaping Helgen or running off the coast to Winterhold, the warrior of the Reclamation starts having lucid visions of the Reclamations guiding her to their shrines, or in Mafala's case, to Whiterun. The goal of the Warrior of the Reclamations is to seek out these Daedra, recover their artifacts, and protect and preserve the Dunma culture and traditions of the temple in which she was raised. The second aim of the game is to have Azura's staff, for obvious roleplaying reasons, Ebony Mail from Boethia, with Ebony pieces to match, the Ebony Blade from Mafala, and the Shrouded Hood which you can get from killing the Dark Brotherhood, which would serve Mafala well also. So that's the build name, the character name, the backstory, the race, and the gear. Time for the skills. Conjuration is going to be used for summoning Atronachs and Dramora Lords to aid you in battle. Necromancy is against Dunma tradition, so won't be used. Heavy armor will be used to protect yourself and two-handed to slice apart your foes. Destruction will all be fire-based with spells such as Fireball and Flame Cloak. Ancestor's Wrath can be used at the start of the game, however Flame Cloak is advised later on. In terms of roleplaying, the Warrior of the Reclamations is a little xenophobic as well. Perks will be in the description as always, along with the links to our social media, and as you probably guessed, for destruction you'll actually need to get up to Adept, dual casting, and the Fire Specialization. That was, you know, just a side note. But some more on roleplaying when you obtain the Ebony Blade. You're gonna need to power it up, so you can either do it the hardcore way, and make friends with your companions, develop a bond with them before you kill them, or if not, you can just hire companions and kill them as soon as possible. Now for the playstyle, the Warrior of the Reclamations will start the battle using a dual casted flame cloak which will burn melee opponents to a crisp, and will work alongside the poison cloak granted from the ebony mail to look extra lethal too. Fireballs can then be released at this point. Moira will then switch to her flame atronachs or Dramora lords and summon them to protect her and do her bidding. After deploying this uh, 6 setup, switch to your Ebony Blade and begin your slaughter in the name of the Reclamations. The stat spread for the character is 40% health and 60% magicka. Magicka will be very important to the character, more so than health, as health is already protected by your armor and revitalized by your Ebony Blade. Finally, in terms of a stone, it's a favorite, and it is the Lord Stone. So that wraps up this week's Skyrim build, a journey of nostalgia for Morrowind players and our Skyrim Let's Play fans. Now speaking of Let's Plays, be sure to check out our Far Cry Let's Play which will be co-op in episode 4, and then speaking of co-op, check out our Saturday shenanigans of Assassin's Creed Unity because frankly it's amazingly fun. Thanks to everyone who watched the entire video and from Scott and I both, this entire channel is really turning into something great because of you and we really appreciate it. So my name is Michael, this was Malara, the warrior of the Reclamations, and I'll see you soon.